And welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to do another public service announcement. The last one was so popular, so informative that uh, YouTube said, please, Crazy Hank, can you do another public service announcement to educate people on this virus that's going around, one that's affecting everyone named Karen? And I said, sure, you know what? I will do that because I'm here to help, here to entertain, you know, and but I'm ultimately here to help out, you know, wh where I can. Uh, if you look at the map of the United States, you can see how red it's getting. I mean, this virus is just spreading like crazy. And every day you see brand new Karens uh, popping up everywhere. Um, scientists believe now that the virus is airborne. So they're calling the, the virus airborne Karen. And so that's that's another dangerous, dangerous thing, which gives me my theory that a lot of the problems could be that these Karens are going into these stores like tra uh, Trader Joe's, Target, Costco, restaurants, with no problems, no issues, no effect. But yet, when they go in there, maybe the air conditioner is circulating the disease, the airborne Karen disease, around. And that's when they're catching. Because if you look, watch this little clip I have of this one woman who was getting some food at a restaurant. I'm going to play it right now. It's a short, like, 15-second clip. So here it goes right now. Okay, I mean, you can see that she has just completely lost it and she's just out of control. But I was told that when she walked in, she offered to buy everybody dinners, you know, play for their dinners and stuff like that. I guess she had walked an older couple across the street, saved some kittens, everything. Was, she was a normal, happy-go-lucky Karen until she walked into the store and something affected her. Something, so we're, I'm, I'm assuming it was the airborne Karen virus. So you can see how dangerous it can be. This Again, a normal person walks in and then suddenly loses it, loses control. So that's a crazy situation. So we have to, we have to take this seriously. If you're named Karen, I don't even know if I'd go outside. I don't even know if I'd go outside if my name was Karen. I would I would order, I, you know, you can, you can get, have the food sent to you. There's all kinds of things you can do to play it safe. So if you're named Karen, start playing it safer. Um, scientists now believe, too, that the disease started in Florida, that the virus was came from Florida. And I got to know what people are saying. Oh, who's keep picking on Florida? Let's keep picking on Florida. Not picking on Florida, but I guess we are. But just think how Florida's reputation has been the last two or three years or maybe even longer. You know, so you have to kind of think, OK, maybe it did come from Florida. So if it did come from Florida, if you're named Karen, I wouldn't even go near Florida. I would just stay away from Florida again. But look at the map that we put up earlier and see if it's safe to go there. Now we've had several Karens that walk in and here's my theory on what happens to these Karens as it, you know, they're normal when they walk into this store, but again, it's airborne, the disease, airborne Karen disease. So I think they have it because you have the help I've fallen, I can't get up Karen. As you can see right here, she's she lost it. She started screaming, she walked in normal. She walked in without any problems. But suddenly she could, and this would affect her, she couldn't even walk. She had to sit down in the middle of the floor because she, the disease had affected her in that way. So you have, now it's affecting Karen's ability to walk. So she had to sit on the floor until I guess they come pick her up and take her away. But you know, you, you got to feel bad for them. And I'm not here to shame the Karens. I'm here to save the Karens. I don't want to shame them. It's a disease. And it's, it's not their fault. And I think if we can all work together, we can probably say, you know, save some of these Karens. You also had uh, Dr. Costco Karen. You can see right here, Dr. Costco Karen. And she was with her mom. Her mom was in a scooter. And she's trying, the mom is trying to back the scooter up because she it won't go in reverse. It, it won't go in reverse. It can only go forward. So she's stuck there with her daughter, who's gone full Karen and being sarcastic, snotty, you know, and the mom is just like going, I, why am I here? And, and the worst part is Dr. Costco Karen walked in with a mask and got so disoriented, she couldn't figure out how to put the mask on. So again, she was affected by that. And the mom afterwards, they interviewed the mom afterwards and she was just crying. She's a, she was so sad. She said, if I would have known 50 years ago, there was going to be an uh, airborne Karen virus out there, I would have never named my daughter Karen. And again, mom, you can't, you can't take any blame for that. Who knew there'd be a Karen virus going around that was so terrible? So don't feel bad for naming your child Karen. It's just something that happens, and what are you going to do? Then you have, I hate these masks, Karen. She walks into a Target, and here, here's a picture of her before. Looks perfectly normal. Actually nice and pleasant. And here's the picture af afterwards. 
where she threw all the masks on the ground. And she just, just lost it. This Karen just lost it. She goes into Target, throws all the masks on the ground. Now, the people that are waiting on the public, it is hard enough to wait on the public without these Karens going crazy. So again, if you're named Karen and you don't want to get this virus, also, if you don't want to make the people that are waiting on you make their job harder, just stay home. I think it's easier just to stay home. And then the final Karen we have, she goes to um, Trader Joe's. She's shopping. She's Everything's fine. All of a sudden, again, maybe the air conditioner is shooting the airborne virus, Karen virus around. And what happens? She starts taking her groceries out. Look at it. Here's a clip of her. Or just a pitch, still picture of her. Throwing her groceries on the ground. So there you have it. The Karens are being affected by this. And it's, it's hurting us as a nation that we have so many Karens out there. Again, who, who would want to work with the public with all these Karens out there? So here's my advice, and if we can, work together, talk to people named Karen and tell them, hey, stay home, stay home. It, you know, what they're doing across the street, um, everything that else is going on, this disease is airborne, and you don't want to get it because it, it's it's affecting you, and, and you're being shown by, you know, millions of people are seeing you act crazy when it really isn't your fault. So let's work together. No shaming. Let's save the Karens and do what we can to uh, make this world a better place. Again, if you have any comments, any suggestions of how we can do this, leave in the comments section. But if YouTube wants me back, I'll be back next week to, you know, get more information and we'll talk more about what's going on with all the people named Karen. But I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.